Greetings from Athens, Georgia. Uh, this is the Ethnoecology Biodiversity Lab of the Department of Anthropology in the University. Um, we are making this uh, video as a tribute to Dr. Nadia Seremitakis's work and I want to talk about the start of the lab which was as a as an ethnoecology research-based lab that emphasized the connection between cognition and behavior in the environment and also between biodiversity and memory. Um, so we established herbarium, a, a small herbarium uh, that documented the different resource clusters recognized by people. Uh, we also did research involving cognitive mapping of um, of uh, research uh, of, of uh, different resources in the environment. Um, the effect or the contribution of Dr. Nadia Seremitakis's book, The Senses Still, is to expand our horizon and maybe even reorient our direction, uh, incorporating into the cognitive the more affective and sensual aspects of both memory and conservation and so as you will see over the years we have developed a modest kitchen you know a kitchen facility in the department and my students have actually been cooking um, i teach a course called anthropology of roots and rooting where we try to look at the different ways by which people like immigrants, indigenous folks who are displaced, um, people in transition, uh, use biodiversity, use plants, use food to re-territorialize re in the face of, um, of uh, displacement. And um, we've been using a lot of insights that we derived from the book of Nadia in this regard. Also based on the work of Nadia, where she uses the concept of culpritures as uh, repositories of knowledge and as discordant notes that jog memory from forgetting, we have in fact established in the lab um, Culpritors in residence program. We invite local people who are repositories of knowledge, like seed savers, uh, readers of signs, um, what else? <laughs> uh, uh, cooks, um, and allow them to speak to the university community just as artists or scientists would to be able to share an alternative form of knowledge, an alternative form of behaving in the environment. Hi, I'm Melanie Narciso, one of Dr. Virginia Nazarea's students, and I am going back to the Philippines to do an ethnography of fermented rice knowledge and practices, looking at the losses or possible changes via desensitization or disembodiments because of the modernizing rice landscapes. Hi, I'm Emily Ramsey, another one of Dr. Nazarea's doctoral students. My upcoming dissertation research will take me to various parts of the southeastern U.S., including South Florida and Louisiana, to work with immigrant farmers from across Latin America. My research will focus on how immigrant farmers maintain transnational ties to their homeland through memory of plants and culinary flavors, and the way these impact the shape of their practices here in the U.S.